All right, so first I'm gonna go ahead and make my rice water two days before I use it into my hair. So I'm gonna be using the organic white rice and I have my container right there that I'm gonna put the rice in and you want to make sure that you rinse your rice out just like if you were cooking the rice, you wanna make sure that the rice is nice and clean and then pour it into your measuring cup and you want to use half a cup of rice. And then um, you're going to add the water in there. And then you're going to make sure that you put on a lid in, on, your, in, on top of your container to make sure it's securely tight. And I'm going to just leave it in the container for two days. So now I'm going to be cutting up my aloe vera to make my aloe vera juice. So I'm going to remove the gel, slice it up, and then put the gel slices into the blender. And then um, after all of the gel slices are sliced up, I'm going to take some water, pour the water all the way up, and then blend it. And you want to blend this for no more than one minute. Now I'm going to strain it and you want to make sure that you use a really tiny strainer or you can use a stocking cap, a wig cap to achieve this goal. You do not want to have any of those um, clumps in your hair. So that's why it's so important to strain your aloe vera. Then you're going to pour the juice into the spray bottle. And then now I'm going to strain my fermented rice water and I'm going to pour that into my spray bottle. Next up, I'm going to be showing you my oil concoction, which consists of avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, extra dark black Jamaican castor oil, virgin coconut oil, and Taylor red oil. And that's everything, all the oils put together. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my hair already sectioned in four. And um, now I'm just going to separate that in half so that way I can moisturize my hair 10 times better. So first I'm going to take my spray bottle and spray the mixture of the rice water and the aloe vera juice. And I'm going to make sure I really saturate my hair, make sure I saturate the ends just really saturate all of my hair strands so next up i'm going to take my fingers and finger detangle my hair and really just make sure i get my hair super de detangled free so that way i can really make sure my hair strands are super moisturized now i'm going to take my hot oil that I have in my applicator bottle and I'm gonna put the oil in next. And of course you wanna pay attention to your ends because like I've said in a lot of my videos, your ends are the oldest part of your hair. So you really want to make sure that you are really focusing on the ends of your hair. Then I'm going to twist that up and then I'm going to start on the next section of hair. Now I'm going to repeat the same process. I'm going to take my rice water and aloe vera juice mixture and I'm going to saturate my hair as much as possible to make sure my hair strands are super moisturized and that it gets through all of my hair strands. And I have a whole bunch of this in my spray bottle so I'm making sure that I try and use as much as possible. Now for video purposes, I'm doing this outside of the shower, but I typically do it inside the shower and after I spray it, I usually just take the spray bottle and just pour the rest of the mixture onto my hair and then I add the oil. 
but for video, video purposes i'm doing this outside of the shower so you guys can get a good visual of how i do my pre-poo routine and also as you can see i make sure that i take the oil and um i pour it onto the roots onto my scalp and massage my scalp for a minute this is um sped up some so that was pretty quick but i make sure i um really massage my scalp for at least one minute to promote and stimulate hair growth those massage massaging your scalp is really important if you want to achieve um growing your hair so now that i have the first section done i'm going to start on to the back of my hair and repeat the process And I love to use rice water and aloe vera as a mixture together because um, you want to balance it out so that way there's no protein overload going on because rice water is a protein treatment in itself, has a lot of protein in it. So if you already have like... Um, shampoos or conditioners that already have protein in it or you're doing a protein another protein treatment then um it's always good to mix those two to balance it out and rice water does have a strong smell to it so it's important to add some essential oils i did run out of essential oils but the best essential oils to add to the rice water is like peppermint oil rosemary essential oil as well as lavender oil just to bring that smell down and then you can also use orange peels but that's just like it'll bring it down temporarily so that's just um a, a warning like a heads up and i also like to ferment my uh, rice water for two days instead of one because the longer that you let it sit to ferment the um, more nutrients you'll get out of the rice water. So now I'm taking my oil applicator and massaging my scalp, doing, uh, doing that really promotes hair growth like I mentioned before. So that's important to do when you're doing a hot oil treatment because all these cold pressed oils will really do its job if you're stimulating hair growth by doing a massage scalp or scalp massage. So. That's really important to keep in mind.
and as you can see my hair is super moisturized and the texture is different now it has um, a lot of nutrients and moisturization there so that's why I like to combine these three things in my hair as a pre poo routine So now I am all done with all the sections of my hair. I'm taking out the clips and I'm adding the oil to my scalp a little bit and then all over my hair, just making sure my hair is saturated with oil. And now I'm going to um, apply it to the back of my hair, make sure I have oil all over before I put the shower cap or a plastic bag in this case. So I'm putting that onto my head and then I'm gonna sit under the dryer for 20 minutes. And then I'm all good to go till the next day when wash day comes.